dass ich also hier schon eine gute Chance hätte. Und außerdem wollte ich natürlich ähm, mein Deutsch benutzen, da ich es also vier Jahre lang studiert hatte. Ich wollte einfach etwas machen, etwas also eher Kreatives und ähm, was mir einfach gefallen würde. Und ich habe gemeint äh, beim Verlag, das würde mich interessieren. Sonja's command of German is a major asset when it comes to finding a job. For Martin, speaking English, the working language in his field is a plus factor. Unfortunately, I don't actually use German as much as I had hoped. Many of the people I work with are English or Americans, and most of the Germans here speak impeccable English. So um, I don't speak as much as I had wanted to. Could you give me the memo you sent to me yesterday? I lost it somewhere. Right, OK. I think it's in here somewhere. Just hold on one moment. Ich habe schon wahnsinnig viele äh, Bewerbungen abgeschickt und ähm, habe auch einige Interviews gehabt, aber meistens kommen dann doch Absagen. Und ich sehe das ähm, so, dass hier in Deutschland die Ausbildung ähm, anders ist als in England. Und zwar hier, hier macht man eher ein Praktikum oder sowas während des Studiums, ähm, was äh, also auf einen Beruf hinzuführt. In England ist das Studium anders. Es langt dem Arbeitgeber zu sehen, dass du ein Studium abgeschlossen, überhaupt abgeschlossen hast. Das heißt, dass du, dass du nicht dumm bist. Die Bewerbungen sind auch anders hier in Deutschland. Man muss eben auf Freizeitsachen verzichten, was ich in meinen Bewerbungen in England zugeschrieben habe. Das interessiert den Arbeitgeber hier in Deutschland überhaupt nicht. The mention of her diving certificate or the fact that she came out of a cookery course with flying colors must have amused some potential employers. Different countries, different customs. Getting a job in Germany depends as ever on your qualifications, whether or not they're recognized here, the state of the local jobs market, and also on your determination. In some cities where there are massive construction programs going on, qualified builders, joiners and decorators are in demand. But in all the big cities there's more competition than ever before for the least skilled jobs due to the influx of job seekers from the former East. Here at Frankfurt's main job centre, most of the available jobs are for office and hotel workers. Current vacancies are stored in a highly efficient information system but you do need German or a German-speaking friend if you want to make use of it. Right, well, let's see what we can find. B for bank, that's 11. Bank, so we have Bank Kaufmann, which is 17, that's a clerk. Let's see what we can get. Uh, what about something on import, export? What we got to do languages, import. Now, here's a job. Frankfurt am Main Innenstadt, that's in the center of the town. It's a full-time job and the salary is negotiable and it's uh, free straight away. You need uh, some experience and you need to be able to speak English. This place was recommended to me, the Arbeit Sand. So I came along and I came to a section where they had many computers and you looked in these computers to try and find your job. I walked in, I looked and I ran out of the place because I got, felt so intimidated. And then uh, I decided, no, I'll go back. And I came back and sat myself down and took a look. And I had, in respect, I had German, I had French. Um, I have, you know, marketing experience um, and a degree from university. So it wasn't as if I was totally unemployed, or unemployable, rather. And uh, I took a look and I saw that the Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank were looking for somebody. And I knew them to be, um, you know, an English-speaking bank, which was going to be helpful. And I decided I'd bring myself along there. So uh, I got my CV together, which I discovered in Germany is done totally different to at home. Um, and all kind of any certificate that would be of value and went along and they said, well, you can start whenever you'd like. So I started about a week later. The money side is very, very good. I'm probably on two or three times what I was earning in England as the same, in the same position I was in England, also head waiter. And my money is now nearly three times what I was earning. Is there a problem with bureaucracy here? There is a bit, but I mean, 
it's it's all very ordered. I, I see a reason to their bureaucracy here at home. Sometimes I think there is there is no reason. I mean, when it first came to my getting a job, I discovered there were so many things I had to have. For instance, I had to have first of all a loan or a card, and I had to go to the Arbeitsamt. I had to prove that I was living here. I had to get residency here. All these little things. But once you have those done, it's totally cleared and. You're, it's so easy to find a job then after that. Mind you, you would have the cutting edge if you had a, a knowledge of German. The German society is such that the Auslander or the foreigner does have to work harder to get on than a German would. If you were both fighting for the same job, he would probably get it easier than you. He, you would have to work a lot harder, put in maybe more overtime. Some you would have to prove the fact that you can do the job more than he could. One thing I like about them is that, you know, they, they do have a very good sense of loyalty. And you appreciate that when you're away from home. And also, I'd say it was the Germans who said to me, this is how you go about it, Melissa. They were the ones who also influenced me. Listen, stay, you'll get a job, no problem. And I did. Um, and I think without that little bit of support, I don't know when I have stuck it here. Would you stay here just for the money, or is it because you've got a girlfriend as well? Um, for both reasons. She keeps asking me to buy her a diamond and things like that, but who knows, the money isn't quite that good. Landscape gardener Adrian Young has come to Munich to get a year's work experience before doing his final exams in Britain. At the moment, people with his kind of skills are highly sought after in Germany, so being here could open up job opportunities for the future. Naturally, for my first problem, the Sprache, yet nach zehn Monaten geht es viel besser. Wenn man sprechen muss, lernt man schneller. Einfach. Because of the amount of new construction going on here, landscape gardeners need to be particularly skilled at the building side of the job. A good firm like the one Adrian has found may well provide accommodation, a major plus factor in a city as expensive as Munich. Ich wohne zusammen mit Deutschen, Italienern, Dänen, Canadian und Hollandern in einer Wohnheim bei meiner Firma. Mit meinen Kollegen ist es, ist es immer eine gute Zusammenarbeit. Sie haben mir immer geholfen. Working on a family farm in Switzerland sounds idyllic, but is it? Fruit picking, milking and potato harvesting, day in, day out, are not for the faint-hearted even if the sun is shining. In Poland, where Danuta comes from, they harvest potatoes by hand, so this is an improvement and a break from studying economics. The Swiss Rural Service Scheme offers work to around 400 foreigners a year. There's seasonal work to be had all over Europe, from crop harvesting and environmental work to holiday camps and sporting activities. Some jobs and some areas, like grape picking in the south of France, are now extremely popular. So try for something less obvious if you want to avoid disappointment. Unlike here, living conditions can be extremely basic. If you're doing the work to learn the language, make sure you get a job where you live in and have to socialize. Getting work in Switzerland is more difficult than in countries which are EC members. Apart from anything else, you need a work permit. A good way in is working there as an au pair. Though it's still unusual to find male au pairs, attitudes are changing. Obviously, you need to like children and be prepared to adapt to the demands of a foreign family. Am Anfang war es schon schwierig, sich einzugewöhnen. 
weil alles war neu, ganz anderes Land, die Sprache war anders, die Menschen waren anders, eine ganze neue Familie. Ich hab, die haben mir schon geholfen, mich so zu gewöhnen an die Familie und an das Land und an die andere Sprache. As an au pair, one of your basic rights is to one day off a week for language classes. forgiven for thinking this is one of Frankfurt's many hotels. In fact, it's a hospital, part private, part national health. 300 beds, it's the city's orthopedic clinic. It's friendly and institutionalized. It doesn't even smell like a hospital. Because of the shortage of nurses in hospitals all over Europe, even this one, a good nursing qualification is a passport to new career opportunities. The attractions of Switzerland are plain to see. Magnificent scenery and a worldwide reputation in advanced health care. Bettina Zinn has come to Switzerland from Austria for a two-year training course. Her ambition is to go into health service management. But first, she wants to specialize in intensive care nursing and get the best possible qualifications. There's a shortage of nurses here too, so even though Switzerland isn't a member of the EC, incentives in the form of training opportunities are being offered to foreign nurses. In many disciplines, from intensive care to physiotherapy and pediatrics, nurses in Switzerland have access to the best available technology. A Swiss Red Cross diploma could be worth having if you want to advance your career. In Britain, training and career development for nurses is going through enormous change, partly to attract more people, both men and women, to the profession. When Patricia Marcel came to Cambridge from France, she found that British staff nurses carry more responsibility for patient care than their French counterparts and tend to have greater job satisfaction. Mr. Royal Pie. Hey, in Angleterre, à trois entre le patient, le docteur et l'infirmière. C'est-à-dire que nous avons chacun des rôles différents et nous travaillons ensemble. En France, j'ai plutôt l'impression que l'infirmière est une assistante du docteur. Le docteur dessine et l'infirmière agit et le patient subit parfois. You want to be on the tea piece? Not at all. You feel okay? Oh, great. You're wonderful. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I know that you know. This way? Here in Angleterre, I have the impression to be more to fill my role of nurse in its globality. That is, we take charge of the patient in all its aspects. 
aussi bien physique que psychologique. Et s'asseoir au pied du lit du patient, discuter avec lui s'il en a besoin, n'est pas considéré comme une perte de temps, euh, mais fait partie du soin. Et j'avoue que j'apprécie ça énormément. Okay, that's, that's